and I have an extraordinary young man here in the studio who is taking part in the brilliant Rickshaw Challenge. The One Show's Rickshaw, uh, Rickshaw Challenge. His name is Kelsey. He's from Watford. He's 17 years old. Uh, Kelsey, what is your show and tell going to be? So, um, I'm... D uh, delivering as part of the Rickshaw Challenge, we deliver um, yeah. a speech. So <laughs> that's what I'm I'm doing today. That's what you're here to do today. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Emma, who's one of the Rickshaw Challenge yes. team uh, at Strictly Come Dancing a couple of weeks ago. Can I just say, first of all, you are doing phenomenally. How's the cycling going, Kelsey? Oh, it's it's incredible. It's it's so much fun. And obviously, you know, such a great cause, and that really spurs us on. The support we've had, it's been incredible, and it's it just it you know it's that's really spurring us all on and it's just amazing i know and all the people coming out to support because before you do this i did a, a cycle challenge and i have to say kelsey i was very nervous about whether i could physically do it in the first place <laughs> um I, and once you start it's quite phenomenal isn't it how it just all comes together it kind of it, it all kind of just when we're on the bike and there's people out and like it's the adrenaline of the moment i think and and you know we obviously thank everyone for coming out so much and it's just that really really spurs you on you keep going it's yeah. just incredible and having you know matt baker and all the other riders there it's, it's, it's matt incredible. baker's a pretty phenomenal man as well definitely, isn't he? Definitely. and he is definitely the man you need on board with something like this because physically he's strong but he's also a right laugh <laughs> hilarious yeah and he's done i don't know how many of these he's done now uh, but it keeps you going did you have to do any special training to prepare for for the roads and the hills so we were trained before i did a lot of work um on exercise bikes in the gym because it's quite difficult as well to get people um because obviously if i'm cycling outside otherwise i'd need a tandem rider on front but i mean yeah. a little bit of that as well so it's just been preparing 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 and then suddenly you're there and suddenly you're doing it you're pretty intrepid though aren't you kelsey uh, i would say uh, you know um <laughs> i think yeah yeah you're underplaying it there a little bird told me that you've also been preparing for a very important exam kelsey yeah so um literally the week before we set off um i sat the entrance exam for oxford university so that was <gasps> all going on as well how did how did it go do you I think, think? I think think it was okay. I don't want to jinx it. I okay. don't want to jinx it. I think right, it was okay. Fair. Okay. The whole nation is, is willing it to have gone well for you. What do you want to study? Um, politics, philosophy and economics. Fantastic. Kelsey is going to save the save us all, people. I mean, uh, your mum, Joe is here as well. Pudsey is here. Um, okay. And it's over to you now because you are going to make uh, this incredible speech. Uh, this was part of the Rickshaw Challenge that each person taking part had to make a speech. Uh, Emma did one on Strictly Come Dancing, which should be off see on Children in Need on Friday on the Strictly Come Dancing and Kelsey's going to make a speech now. So Kelsey, my darling, over to you. Hi, uh, my name is Kelsey. I'm 17 and from Watford. I'm usually with my guide dog, Lacey, but she's unfortunately not with us today. But um, she really loves attention, so the whole rickshaw challenge is making her quite pleased. Um, I'm completely blind, or as it has been put to me before, severely visually challenged, which does make it sound like if I tried a little bit harder, I might be able to see. It's just not going to happen, though. Um, when I was born, I, I could see. I was born with something called genetic cancer, which led to a tumour forming in my left eye. And despite treatment, it had to be removed before my first birthday. When I was then five, um, the cancer returned in my right eye. Um, I had chemotherapy injections directly into my eye and was put into radioactive isolation but none of the treatment worked and the eye then couldn't be saved, so I was left blind um, age six. I tried to get on with life as best as I could. It's only as I've gotten older that I think I've realised the implications of being blind. It's often the little things, um, occasionally pouring water onto my hand from a boiling kettle or trying to find a door handle on a door that can make life harder and can be really frustrating. But it's also about how I'm perceived. Often people doubt that I can do even the simplest of things, getting on the bus or trying to walk across a room by myself. When people start to doubt you, it's sometimes hard not to start doubting yourself too. I think this is where Children in Need um, made such a huge difference to my life. They helped support Goalball UK. Goalball is a unique sport where everyone's blindfolded. So whether you're blind, visually impaired or fully sighted, everyone's on the same level. At Goldball, I'm part of a team. It's been such a huge confidence booster for me and has changed my life. It's helped me to grow in independence and to, to always achieve my best. I've gone from the boy who was told that he wouldn't achieve anything above a grade C in GCSEs to now having sat the Oxford University entrance exam and studying for A-levels. This year, uh, I'm taking in part 
uh, taking part, sorry, in the Children in Need Rickshaw Challenge. So we're riding 400 miles from Hollyhead to London with an amazing team raising money for, for such a great cause. I want to prove to myself, as much as to anyone else, that blind people can achieve anything we put our minds to. And I really can't wait to get back out on the road with Team Rickshaw. Please give whatever you can. Kelsey, you are a phenomenal, phenomenal young man. How do you feel now? You've done that. That's incredible. Yeah, you can write. You, you are amazing. Look at you. Public speaking is definitely something you should uh, do more of. Kelsey, you're an inspiration to so many. I know so many people listening would have been so moved. And you can follow Kelsey's progress. You can donate to the Rickshaw Challenge. It's all raising money for children in need and all the incredible projects that they support. Um, and uh, you can follow also on the one show every night see how you're all doing where are you going to pick up with the team do you know so Kelsey? they've left uh, oswald street this morning or i think they're leaving now yeah. and i'm meeting them somewhere between there and our next finish line this evening which is crew okay excellent stuff and, and riding into the one show on friday night is it is that I'm, the aim I'm, I'm not i think so i think we're into children in need on friday. into children in need i'm on, not on sure friday. i'm not yes. sure you're right I'm just, I'm just riding at this point just cycle i think that's what you do on a challenge <laughs> like this you're like where are we going for this morning and you just get through that bit Kelsey, Kelsey, wonderful to meet you. It was a real privilege to meet you. Thank you so much for joining us and good luck with the rest of the challenge. Thank you so much. You're a superstar and good luck with Oxford. Thank you. Will you let us know how if you get in? <laughs> I oh, will I'm do. so excited for you. <laughs> Thank you, darling.